Are you looking for a deep dive into the differences between model-driven and Canvas app? Then man, have I got a treat for you. In this 10-part series, we are going to build a model-driven app and a Canvas app from the same Dataverse data to do the same exact thing so you can one-for-one one compare the two, right? So over here on the left, I've got the Canvas app, right? This is your normal Canvas app. It's got some vendors. We can go in here. We got galleries. We got selected stuff. We can edit data using forms. It's a pretty simple Canvas app, but it is a core Canvas app that lets us do our vendor and product management. And there is a relationship between vendors and products. And so we get all of that exposed. We can even kind of drill in and you know filter and all that, right? Then over here on the right, we've got the same exact scenario connected, the same exact data, but we built a products and vendors app for going in here and managing all this with model-driven apps. So we can see what the same exact app looks like in model-driven apps, all right? Once again, it doesn't do anything terrible or fancy, but it can filter, it can view the data, it can edit the data, create the data, all the things that you would need to get yourself rolling. So now if you're watching this, you go, oh, well, I don't care, Shane, because I don't do Dataverse. I don't need any of this. I, I understand, I, he I hear you, but I'm not buying it, right? How many of you have said, hey, I really wish we had premium licensing, right? Every one of you, right? You all want it. But then you go to your boss, you're like, give me premium licensing. They're like, why? And you're like, because it's cool. No, right? This video is here to show and make you more educated on the differences and the benefits of model-driven apps and data versus the data source, whether it's Canvas or model-driven, so you can make a more compelling argument with your management. When you see that we build this model-driven app in like one-tenth the time we build the Canvas app, like. These are the things that should be able to drive a better conversation for you in the office. So the way that this series works is there is, I think, 10 more videos. I've already recorded all of them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, we kind of start at the beginning. So we're going to create a solution. We're going to create all the Dataverse table, tables, set up the relationships. We're then going to build a model-driven app. Then we're going to build a Canvas-driven, a, can, canvas a Canvas app. We're then going to set up the security roles. We're going to export that managed solution into a different environment, or I guess export from this solution, import it into other managed uh, environment. And then once we get the other environment, we are then going to um, assign the access to Chewy and then share both apps with Chewy and go through that whole life cycle. And we're going to do everything for both model and canvas in the series. So we're not going to skip any of it. That's what I've got to offer you with this series. Every day I'm going to release two videos. So this video and one more came out today. Tomorrow there'll be two more. The day after that, two more, etc. right? So that'd be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That'll get all 10 of the videos out. Then on Friday, Juan Grijalba and myself, we're going to go live on YouTube. So what we're going to do there is we're going to take your questions and um, comments and answer them, right? So whether you're leaving comments and questions in each of the videos or you're joining the chat live or you're asking on Twitter, however you're providing that feedback, Juan and I are going to try to answer as many of those questions as we can on Friday afternoon. We'll also have some other Power Apps 911 people in the chat to try to facilitate what I'm guessing is going to be hundreds of you joining to ask the questions. And if you're a YouTube subscriber, all you gotta do, right, you'll get the little notification when we go live, bing, you can join, or on Twitter, I will also tweet it out a couple minutes beforehand. So speaking of Juan, um, he is our model-driven apps instructor, so he teaches model-driven apps in Dataverse. We have a live class for that. That class is gonna be April 3rd through the 7th, so Juan will be teaching that live. And then, of course, there will also, I will be the week before that, the end of March, March 20th to the 24th, or I guess it's two weeks before that, I will be teaching uh, my app builder, so Canvas apps and Power Automate class live. Both of those will be available if you want to continue this. And if you're like, hey, I'm, I'm buying this whole all-in story, then we also have a special bundle. So you can just email me, shane at powerapps911.com, and we will get you a lovely, very large, quite frankly, discount if you sign up for both classes. Or if you're like, hey, you know, I really want to watch all these videos today. Like I've got the whole day set up. I want to binge all of these. I want to, you know, use the same exact solution because it's all done in Dataverse and a solution. You can go sign up here for the YouTube library. And so in that YouTube library, all the videos, right, they're out there right now, right the second. And more importantly, the solution is there. So you can pull that down and deploy your environment and you can have your own vendor management app this right, right now. Now, before we call this session over though, what we need to do is we're going to get it started, right? We're going to do the first technical thing, right? I didn't make you listen to all that blah, 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 just to bore you. So first thing I need you to do is I need you to go over to make.powerapps.com 
And the thing that we're going to do that makes all of this portable and all of this so easy, and it's only the only right way to do things, quite frankly, when you do model-driven apps, is we go here to Solutions, and we need to create a new solution. So to create that new solution, what you're going to do is you're going to click the New Solution button up here. You're going to give it a display name of Video Vendor and Product Apps. You can call it whatever you want. You're then going to need to choose a publisher. And so for the publisher, I'm going to use PA911. Right? This is that little prefix. If you ever notice, like all your tables have like CR662 or CR253 or whatever. So that is the prefix of the default ones, but you can create your own. So you can do a new publisher here and you can make one. I've already done that. And so my publisher is PA911. Um, so there you go. Leave the version alone, leave the rest of this alone and click on create. And then after a few seconds, you will have the solution, right? So that's where the next video picks up. We're going to jump into that solution and build the Dataverse table. So click up there to jump into that video, right? Keep going and build it out. And hopefully I will see you over there in a second. Thanks and have a great day.